This video will be divided into three parts. One, we will create the image that we will use for the animation. Two, we will create the audio. Three, make the image say whatever you want it to say. Now let's get started. Come over to this platform. I'm going to be sharing the name of this platform much later because we have a lot of things to cover. I want to show you around and show you how to use this platform. And then we're going to get to other things. Now here, you're going to select filter. So you can use any filter here, any type of filter that you want. But for the kind of look that we want, we're going to be using the Dream Shaper. And here is where you're going to put the prompt. But before we get to the prompt, let's go over to this side. Now, you want to leave the model at Table Diffusion XL, right? Just leave it at this and you can choose the image dimensions. Now, you can choose 512 by 512, 1024 by 1024. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose 768 by 512. Now, you can get other dimensions if you buy the Pro Plan, but come on. <laughs> All right, so number of images you're going to select four because you just don't want to get an output, just one output. You want to get four that you can choose from, right? So we're going to just go ahead and select four. Here is exclude from image. So you're going to exclude something that you don't want in the image. Let's put a prompt first. So I'm going to go ahead and put a prompt. Pixel style of a hot and beautiful lady on a desk seated in an upright position with her head up facing the camera and her hand on the desk. Now here is image to image. This image to image simply means that you can upload an image for an inspiration. So let's say you already have an idea of the type of image you want. Instead of going back and forth with the AI, it's best that you upload your own image and then it's going to generate something similar to it, right? So that's an amazing way to do that. And then you can import an image and edit the image, you know, change up some things and everything. Let me know if you want me to do a full tutorial on how to use this platform. So now that we have our prompt, the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and click on generate to generate our first draft. And then from there, we can look at the result that we got and see if we can make some adjustments with our prompt or make some adjustments with the settings. But either ways, it's going to come up fine. And one of the reasons why I love this platform to Mid Journey or any other service is because, I mean, Mid Journey is paid for, this one is totally free. And then Mid Journey is kind of difficult because of the way it's being prompted and everything. Not everybody, you know, really understand how Discord works and how to go about it and how to do stuff like that. And then the free version, like the Blue Willow and Lunario AI, you have to, you know, learn all the whole prompting and everything. And then the image is not as sharp as the one that this platform gives you. So now it has generated four versions of our prompt for us and is looking quite amazing. And this is the closest to what we want. And then you're going to go ahead and click on actions. There are different options. We're going to come back to that later. But what you want to do is to click on create variants, right? So it's going to create variations of this same one because this is the, the best out of everything that we have created. So now it's going to create different variations of the same style. So now it has an idea of what you're looking for and it's going to now put something very close to that in multiples, right? Right. So now it has created another variation for us and you can see it's outstanding and this is something that we love. So I'm going to go ahead and save this one, but to save it, all you have to do is to come over to this actions and you're going to go over to upscale by 4x. Now, I want you to imagine this particular image as the face of your faceless YouTube channel. It's going to be amazing. It looks amazing and people are going to love it. And I love the way the hand position and everything, it looks amazing. So if she's talking, it's going to actually come out professional. Now, one thing I love about this platform is the quality of the image that it generates. It blows my mind, right? So all you have to do is just click on download to download the image straight to your device. And by the way, the name of this platform is playgroundai.com and it has generated the amazing image that we're going to be using for our video. And it's time to move over to the next part, which is generating the audio that we're going to be using for our video. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and move over to 11 labs. Now, there are two ways to achieve the voiceover. It's either you use your own voice or you use 11 labs. I've done a tutorial on 11 labs and how to use it. I'll leave the link in the description so that you can go watch it after watching this video. Now, I will always encourage that you use your own voice because it gives you that control over your whole creation. You don't have to rely on these platforms to create your own content, right? And you're not going 
going to be restricted because 11 laps only gives you 10,000 characters and you can easily exhaust that in just one or two videos and you don't want that except you have the budget to pay for the pro version then you can have access to multiple characters but even at that it's still very expensive so in order not to spend money i would advise that you bypass this part and use your own audio if you can use your own voice just record what you want to say in the video and then you're going to animate the image that we created with your own audio and then if you're going to be using 11 labs all you have to do is just click on voice lab and you're going to click on add generative or clone voice and you're going to click on voice design so here you're going to select the gender whether female or male so we have a female character so we're going to be using the female and young american and accent strength it's okay so we're going to delete this and put in your text that is what you want the audio to say what you want the video to say what you want your avatar to say so just go ahead and click on generate and it's just going to go ahead and generate our audio for us so now it has generated the audio for us the next thing we're going to do is to just go ahead and download the audio to our device you can do this with your phone you can do this with your computer it doesn't matter anyone that you're using and now let's move over to the third part which is the concluding part and that is going to be did.com i've also done a tutorial in the past on how you can use this platform just in case you have not watched that video please find the link in the description so you can learn more on how to use this platform so here you're going to go ahead and click on start free trial just in case you haven't signed up yet, just go ahead and click on start free trial. Click on create a video. Click on add your image. So now that our image has uploaded, the next thing we're going to do is to upload our audio, the audio that we downloaded from 11 Labs or your own audio that you have already recorded. And to do that, all we have to do is to come over to audio. We're going to see upload your own voice. So now that we have uploaded our audio and we have uploaded our image, the next thing we're going to do is to click on generate video. But one thing I need you to know is that this platform the free version gives you 20 credits right and you don't want to exhaust that so what i would advise you to do is to just use this for your intro and probably your outro so now that we have gotten that out of the way let's go ahead and click on generate video to generate our video so now you can see here that it's telling us that this is going to take off one credit from our 20 credit left so you understand what I mean now, right? Now, if you watch other YouTube channels that are doing the same strategy, you can understand that this is the same way they do it and they make a lot of money with it. So now we're going to just go ahead and hit the generate button to generate our video. So now it has generated the video and as you can see, the video is ready. If I click on play, it's going to go ahead and play back our video. Please, I will like you to do me a favor. Kindly like this video to encourage me to make more videos like this. Now, how cool is this? Now, please listen to the young lady and like this video if you haven't yet liked the video. And the next thing we're going to do is to just go ahead and hit on the download button to download the video directly to our device. Now, if you look here, you're going to see a watermark here. It wouldn't be nice using this like this on your YouTube channel because everybody's going to know that you're using the free plan because the watermark is here because you're using the free plan. Now, I'm going to be sharing exactly how you can remove this in our Telegram channel, in our official Telegram channel. Please use the link in the description to join the channel if you're not in the channel. It's totally free. So go ahead and join the Telegram channel to learn how you can remove the watermark.